what's going on viewers of YouTube? The name is Tyler, AKA Chico of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of Crypto, and of course, a cold one. Today's featured brewski is Big Wave Golden Ale from Kona Brewing Company, my old hometown of Kona, Hawaii, so thought might as well feature it, you know? Let's dig into this. Golden Ale too, my favorite. So good. So the NEO operating system, or NOS for short, is here and the white paper has been dropped, allowing retail investors a glimpse into the problems they are solving and how exactly their technology will improve the overall smart economy of NEO. So today I would like to do a true Chico breakdown of the white paper, understanding the multiple components. If you just want a general overview of headlines, my channel's not for you. We do deep dives, so let's put on our diving equipment and jump head first in. The team behind NOS explains there are inherent problems with applications hosted on the traditional internet. Today's applications, like Facebook and Snapchat, require closed source server-side backends in order to maintain security, privacy, and functional efficiency. What this means is end users have no insight into what happens to their personal data, nor do they have control over how it is used. And we know corporations take advantage of this, monetizing your data without your consent tracking every step you take, and even listening in on your conversations. Enter blockchain technology, which gave projects the ability to make applications backend code truly transparent, giving end users the ability to see what happens to their data. Applications that deeply integrate with this blockchain technology are often referred to as dApps or decentralized applications. With the growth of Ethereum and NEO, we are witnessing a sharp increase in the development of those new ambitious dApps. Although with the projected growth in consumer level adoption of these dApps, they need to be as user friendly as the traditional internet's applications. Well, this is currently not the case as dApps introduce their own crypto tokens, which need exchange, and the current form of exchanges is not very consumer grade easy. Also, there are security considerations when using dApps, crypto wallets with private keys, which is way over the average consumer's heads. Finally, discoverability is limited for dApps. If you aren't into crypto, then you probably don't know about any of the dApps. Enter NOS, the blockchain powered operating system which is here to solve all of these major problems. NOS is a virtual operating system that allows dApps to make their backends fully open source and transparent, which creates an open internet. This is possible through smart contracts, client side code, and public key cryptography. Unlike server side backend code of today's applications, the smart contracts are open for all to read and they're transparent. Client-side code and other front-end materials of applications can be distributed in a decentralized manner via the NOS file system. This allows NOS to serve both back-end logic and front-end material in an open source and truly transparent manner. NOS can be considered a full-stack solution for dApp development, deployment, discovery, and interaction. This stack of tools is what makes NOS unique, so let's look into each of these components. Like mentioned before, smart contracts build the back end of the dApps. NOS file system is the peer-to-peer -peer protocol that allows for content to be distributed in a decentralized manner. The NOS APIs support building from smart contracts of both NEO and Ethereum. And front end materials such as the client side code is pulled from the NOS file system. All of this information and code is served through the NOS protocol, which is a distributed web protocol that integrates with NOS name service, and it's accessible only by the NOS client. The main function of the protocol is to resolve domain names that exist on the NOS name service. So what is the NOS name service? In order for dApps to utilize the NOS protocol, the dApp owner must first obtain a NOS domain name. The owners can reserve domains where the top level domain indicates their dApps utilize back end blockchain platform. For example, .neo for NEO and .f for Ethereum. The name service employs a decentralized auction system for winning a domain name. Additionally, instead of consuming NOS tokens for domain ownership, it's granted by staking NOS tokens. Here is how the auction works. Bidders submit bids without knowing the bids of other people in the auction. Upon conclusion of the auction, ownership is awarded to the highest bidder. The winner stakes NOS tokens equal to the second highest bid made for a predetermined period called an ownership cycle. 
By the end of the cycle, the domain owner can choose to retain the domain by keeping NOS token staked for another cycle, release the domain and take back the staked tokens, or propose a partial release while still maintaining ownership of that domain. So, speaking of staking tokens, end users of dApps can stake their NOS tokens to be granted a concept called decentralized authority. This allows users to rate applications based on quality and other relevant factors. Users are incentivized to vote honestly by distribution of tokens via selective supply increase. What this means is those who vote more truthfully in accordance to the eventual outcome receive relatively more NOS tokens via the selective supply increase. Also, truthful voters gain voting power, which is a factor that defines a user's voting weight. In addition, applications themselves are also rewarded with the selective supply increase for establishing a positive reputation. The voting system within NOS is a tiered voting system. This assures truthful and realistic establishment of dApp reputations. It works like this. After a dApp receives a certain number of votes and committed voting power, it is rated by a random selected council. This council consists of an uneven number of truthful voters, i.e. the ones who have established high voting power. So the application's eventual reputation is decided by reaching a specific majority outcome among these voters, combined with the process rating of both public vote and the council vote. This tiered voting system is the first step in the application ranking cycle. All dApps are rated and ranked using factors like relative reputation and popularity. The voting system is cyclical with NOS in order to continuously reevaluate dApps based on the ecosystem needs and wants. Here is a picture of that cycle. First, a new period of voting is initialized. The authorities are able to rate dApps using NOS's client open internet browser. Previous ratings are taken into account and prevent drastic changes. Second, after the voting period, a number of NOS nodes calculate the final ranking off chain. Upon consensus, the final calculations are stored on the blockchain. Third is the result in selective supply increase distribution. This means the final dApp rankings that result are applied to the dApp gateway for end users' discovery purposes. And the NOS tokens are distributed to network contributors via the selective supply increase. The dApps of NOS are built with universal smart contracts. These are templates that contain common behaviors for managing identity, tokens, and storage. The smart contracts can also serve as master smart contracts, which are already deployed to the blockchain. dApps can set up their structures with the master universal smart contracts, thus eliminating the requirements for them to build and deploy their own. One of these smart contracts is the automatic token conversion, which addresses the sharp increase in deployments of virtual tokens. So, the primary crypto of the dApps backend blockchain platform, Gas for Neo and ETH for Ethereum, this can be used for token specific interactions while providing exchange liquidity for the dApps own virtual tokens. Now that we understand most of the meat and bones of NOS, let's dig into the NOS client. The NOS client MVP for developers is and has been live and can be used to build dApps right now. For users, the NOS client user interface is live, and this includes the open internet browser and the dApp gateway. The open internet browser supports both HTTP and the NOS protocol. As we know, unlike HTTP, files served via the NOS protocol are first obtained from the NOS file system, then stored to a local sandbox environment on the end user's hard drive. And then it's finally served to the end user from the client side. This grants users complete control and insight over their interactions with the dApps of NOS. The dApp gateway is where dApps are discovered and is very similar to the common app stores we know today. The primary difference is the ranking of the dApps are controlled in an open, decentralized, and democratic manner. The client also includes a cryptocurrency and token wallet for managing your tokens and assets, as well as an exchange application powered by existing high volume exchange platforms, next anyone, and this will support simple to advanced trading. Again, next anyone? As you can see, the suite of NOS technologies make an inclusive, all encompassing dApp platform. They have dApps, over 60 right now, a wallet, app store, tools to build, and fair rankings. NOS will be entering a token sale, and details have been released. Here is a short infographic explaining those details. No date of when it will start, but to participate, you must do so through the NOS client. 
I know I will be participating. How about you? And guess what? The NOS team has decided to lock up 90% of their tokens, and that thing is amazing. Cheers, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>